welcome friends to another episode today let us uh, design a travel charging cable for ev vehicles so i am designing this for my tigor ev so materials needed for that one 16 ampere gang plug it should be uh, some branded one here i have brought one from maru then one trip switch this also i am buying from maru to measure the units that you have consumed or the measure the units that your vehicle has uh, put in or taken in by one power uh, meter uh, i am from buying this emissions one to keep the wire in a bale you will get such bales uh, for around 100 rupees or so and then you need a uh, 4 square mm 2 core two core cable it should be copper and uh, one thing you need to ensure is that uh, these cables uh, are uh, um, oh, cables can be of any brand but it should be uh, ia certified certified like this apart from this you will need a wall plug and another uh, 10 or 15 meters of 1 square mm uh, wire for earthing purpose this will be the layout i'll be using and uh, to do that i'll have to cut holes on this board so let me first do that and then we'll talk further i have used a hand grinder uh, with this blade to cut holes for this plugs and uh, keep it in position now uh, they are all kept in position and wiring has to start so this is the sensor for detecting the current so that it can measure power now under the wire bale uh, drill a hole on one side in a angle way so that you can take the wire through this and roll it over the bale you can use a hot uh, nail to do this work uh, through the angle hole that you have drilled um, push the cable inside the bale like this so that it uh, reaches the opposite side like this now <coughs> it's time for us to assemble the switch box that we have made so i have drill a hole on the bottom side of the switch box through which this wire has to go in so the initial connection is to give the face uh, to the trip switch now from uh, trip switch to our actual switch through uh, the current sensor of uh, power meter that's how we will be connecting it will be like this it will go to the trip switch and then to the switch and then this switch will be connected to the line terminal like this i'll do that and show i want to highlight the relation between this plug and uh, the male plug see here you are seeing l that is uh, known as line or face then you have a n that is called the neutral and this is the earth so the way this plug should be connected to the male plug is this l or line should be coming to the line of this plug here also you can see the l somewhere in this case it is here and then the opposite side will be n neutral and then this will be the earth now we are not going to connect this earth to the plug basically because in most cases the earth will not be active at the wall terminal side now the last connection to give is the earth connection what i have done is from this earth i have used a 1 square mm wire to connect to this bolt so from this bolt we will take um, extra wire Uh, connected to the power source and uh, so you can see 
showing to 42 voltage and uh, 49.9 hertz it should be 50 hertz but some of our supply is showing only 49 i connected a soldering end here so we can test it that soldering is a 25 watt uh, soldering end now i can see consumes around 27.2 watt at 0 0.12 ampere this is the frequency this is the power factor and uh, when uh, uh, it, it is in a position to show some kilowatts this also should get updated so it's working now we will connect to EV and see before taking it to the car we have to complete this earth connection as you see from plug I have put earth connection to this bolt now from this bolt I have to use another 5 or 10 meters of wire according to your requirement uh, to complete the earth connection what I am doing is I will be connecting this 1 square mm 10 meter wire out here and then for earthing connection I will be using a bolt like this which will be dug into the soil like this so uh, here I will be connecting this wire and putting this bolt and I will be taping it, taping it so that um, it stays firm. I'll do that and show. So now the connections are made. You can see the values. It's taking around 13.10 ampere. See now the kilowatts is also moving. So it's success. Now we'll see how many kilowatts it's taking after the charge. Now here is the end of charging values so now it has taken 12.44 units of electricity to charge from 58% to 100% so before I wind up I just wanted to show you this thing also this is the earth road we have made what we will be doing is I will be pushing it into the ground during charging phase as I was charging in the night I couldn't show that so this is the whole bale this is how it will be and uh, this is the front panel so this work is completed thank you all for watching this if you like you may forward this to somebody else who may needing it and subscribe thank you